John Bain, where welcome you to Scrap Mechanic Survival. Hope you guys are doing pretty good today. I'm doing good myself. Don't want to forget to mind you all to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be here when stuff happens, because we're about to make more stuff happen. <laughs> uh, hope you guys are doing good. Um, you know, it's been been, 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 been a pretty good time. Pretty having a good time. Uh, there has been an update. There has been an update. Uh, can, pistons no longer respect the uh well controllers respect the piston length now i think if you don't mess with the controllers that you've already got set you're okay but as you place new ones uh we could probably do a test right quick because I, I have them they're up here i did dis disassemble our test miner because i have another idea that's similar to that that i want to try out too and i don't want to worry about managing uh latency and stuff like that so let's try this out real quick uh we'll just do it right here just to show you guys I'm sure you guys have your own game and you've been looking at it. So let's find out, show you guys for sure. And the max we can go is seven. So yeah, it now respects the length of the piston, which that's cool. It doesn't tell you no anymore. It actually lets you see inside the piston itself to do the upgrades and whatnot. So if you guys have things to rely on something more than seven in a build where you're using the controller to push it, uh, rip. <laughs> I think it was a little OP personally. I, I don't, I, it, the only thing it does is just makes more grinding um happen for components hey bob how you doing you got more poop for us too thank you uh it makes more grinding for us so it it is what it is uh I, again i felt like it was a little p it was a nice little comfort to have oh and then i did some more testing and did some more research and yeah um they i really feel like they need to make vacuum pups pick up like loose items i really feel like that should be a thing it just seems like it would make sense to make something like this happen because i was Actually, there was a comment about doing, like, maybe potentially, like, a, an ember farmer or thing. You know, cutting, breaking down the trees and then um, sucking them up. And I really wish we could suck them up because that would be really nice. But we can't. So that kind of sucks. <laughs> I'll be completely honest with you. That kind of sucks. Um, so that is not a thing. It's a peace out thing. So what are we going to do today? Um, I, I need to go get some more of those lovely warehouse pipe pieces that are outside. The yellow ones, like we use for piping underneath the bridge. Uh, because today I want to, we've got a lot of vacuum tubes I've set up already and we have, um, we have, I just I keep coming up and down, jumping up and down. I mean, I'm not going to build something. We're going to build an elevator. <laughs> I know that might've said that much, but we're going to try to make it look good and match the, the build too. And I think we're going to find a good spot for it that matches a, a, the area. And also where there's more of a cliff space kind of thing than a huge slant. We want kind of a, a straight face area. I think somewhere around here would be nice too, just because of our um, how we kind of have things set up. Actually, this looks like this. It's not that much of a cliff face though, so we're good. We'll figure it out. But yeah, I'm gonna go get some more of these guys down here, uh, and I don't want to take these ones apart because we've already kind of devoted them to the build. These guys and all their stuff. So I'm gonna go grab as many as I can from a couple of the warehouses, which you can see we've already done that before. Really need to fix this underwalk too. Really do, but it's I, I'm taking a break from the bridge. We're taking a break from the bridge. So anyway, I just want to say hi to you guys. Let you know what we're gonna do, and I'm um, looking forward to that. We also really need to really soon. We need to get a trailer and redo the front end on our semi truck uh, for for getting the next tier crops out of the way. I mean, I, I haven't been really hard pressed for it because I haven't really needed to because the bananas and oranges <laughs> I said oranges and apples um have been enough to kind of really get me where i need to be so it, it's not been a huge huge thing for me so uh, it, that's that's why i'm haven't really worried about it but we li i'd like to get it done and i'd like to have a trailer for that uh they've changed it to where you i believe you can't weld the farmers anymore so we need to make a trailer for that which is i have an idea for that it might be really fun but anyway let me go ahead and get get started here i'm gonna go gather some stuff it'll be a little while we, we we'll, it's good to see you guys all right, welcome back. We have made it back alive. Oops, I meant to change that to concrete. Uh, we made it back alive. I think I've designated an area to be our uploading area. Like, it, there's a little dip in the ground over here. So, um, like a little part where the cliff kind of goes in. And it kind of goes out a little bit. But I think we'll be okay. I think, you know, I mean... There's a couple of the drop-offs, but then lower down, it, it all kind of tapers out like a little bit. So I'm not really a big fan of that. Um, and we're going to see how long it's going to be to, to, how hard it's going to be to do. Uh, a what? Oh, that was so good. <laughs> uh, that was really good. <laughs> it's going to be to get out there and, and, and see how far out we're going to have to build this platform to actually make a reach. I kind of want like it being level with this uh, rock. 
And I'm hoping not that. Oh, that it goes out a oh, distance. Hmm. Not a fan. And it goes over some too. Wow. Okay. Well, we just fell down. Yeah. Hmm. Man, I just wanted a clean looking thing. I wish there was some more like actual drop offs. Not like we'd ever fall off or anything. Uh, what do we have here? That looks okay ish too, but see, that's just this portion. Then it goes in a lot. I don't want to do a double elevator. I just want something straight up and clean. Hey, hey, there we go. It's a bit far though from our, our base, but. Let's do this just so I can see it from below and have it say, hey, this is the spot. Let's just do a beam across kind of because they're not even, so it doesn't really matter. There we go. We'll do that. All right. Let me get back up there. Okay. Welcome back. And I've made a way to get up top, <laughs> back up to the top a little bit quicker. Uh, I've also measured out what I want. Um, I have some side area to work with around in here, generally speaking, to run uh, the supports that I want to visually look like. And then I've designated the size of the elevator itself. Um, this is a small one. Again, we're not doing a vehicle one yet. I want to have more of the base built to decide on how I want to manage the garage. Uh, so we have, we're, uh, this is actually kind of fun actually. Get on that and jump. Wait, where are you? Right there, get over here and jump, jump. There, there we go, and then up here. And that's kind of what we got going on. Now, um, we're going to go ahead and grab some pieces right quick. If I can get back up here. Oh, my God. Are you serious? I was up there in a, a minute ago. Did it not? Does it not work now? There we go. All right. Um, all these are pretty much filled. It's funny how many pieces you actually get from, like, a single warehouse when they've got a few of those up there. Uh, there's that, that that and that and then we'll grab one two actually we need to make some room um to have room in you to have room in you okay i have my chest spaces in here let's put in these guys uh and then a couple things of bricks then i'll grab we have one so we have four of those we have three of these and then we need some of these guys too there we go that should be good and so what we're gonna do is actually use the piping that i grab for our main four supports going up to go around the elevator. And then we're also going to make it space to have. Okay, so we need to, we have to put something down for it to snap to. I wonder if I can work something in to where it's kind of like this. And then is that enough for it to want to snap there? Really? Huh, that's interesting. <laughs> Excuse me. I apologize for that. That was pretty rude of me. My bad. And it won't let me go any further with this. That's kind of disheartening. I was hoping to put it like right below it. But hey, we got to do what we got to do to make things hap happen. Uh, let's see. Can I get you to here? And then we'll do this then. We'll take this here. And then do this here. There we go. And can we put this on the corner now? Like that. Okay, we'll make, try to make this one work like that too. I don't know if we're going to be able to. If we can't, we'll have to rethink our strategy here. I'll clean up around it once I get it right. And one more. Is that it? That's it. Yes. Okay, cool. I guess that could work. Uh, I was hoping for something a little bit like of an offset for it. Maybe we can come up with some cool little designs with some of the other pieces we have to make it look a little bit better. There's that one. And then we have this one. I was about to say, I thought I grabbed, I thought I grabbed enough. Okay, let's grab you, bring you over. Let's do that and just kind of start comparing things. Yeah, I kind of like it just being directly bolted to it. It is an odd width of it, so maybe we can come up with some design to go in the middle or something to kind of give it more of a feel. Maybe we could use one of the small pipes and then use some reinforcing looking stuff around the edges to bring it up, the, the, the quality level up a notch. Now, let's see. I brought a spacer for this maybe, or and so the, this is going to be what we have attaching to our walls. Oh, it is, it is, it is a thick boy. I forgot about that. 
Um, let's do the back one here. And then I was thinking about the front, depending on how high up it went. Looks like we should be good to go. Uh, and my car is attached to the the loveliness of the um, lift right now. I hate for it to go fall down, go boom. Okay, uh, let's just build off of this so I have something to work with. There we go, and put you here, and then rotate you like this. Hmm. Um. Let's see here. How does this work? And uh, that is just barely enough to get through too. Okay. Uh, maybe we could actually have these space more. Didn't mean to do that one. Let's take you and put you back on here. And then go back here and grab... I don't have them on me. Okay, let me let me fiddle around with this some more since you guys know what, what we're up to. Yeah, hold on. Okay, welcome back. It is built all the way up. And I did some testing here with some metal. And threw the beams on it. And it looks okay. Uh, the little tabs on there could be a little bigger. But I think with what I have available to work with, this is going to have to do it. And I just did a little bit lighter gray, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is, kind of a situation. Um, but, hey, it'll work. It'll work. I think it'll look fine. It'll look, it's fine. It's fine. And I'm hungry. Oh, they don't count as together. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mm, no. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, why not? They were attached at the bottom together. What makes them not together here is it just doesn't count. I have. To, oh boy. And my bag's probably gonna fall down. It fell down. Great. <laughs> it's uh, there. It goes. Bye bye. Um. Hmm. That's. Maybe just the paint won't. No, it should do it, wouldn't it? Oh boy. Uh, before I grab my bag, let's do some testing up here right quick. Uh, this would this would suck. And uh, do I have my welding tool? I do have my welder. Okay, great. All right, let's go out here and try this out here. Does this mean these are separate? It doesn't make sense actually. Didn't I start them? Let's do this again. Let's do this again. Let's let me do that. Now, are these considered one piece? Hard to tell. Um, let's do it from... Oh, great. Okay. Well, there we go. Yep. We're going to grab my bag now, I guess. Huh. Uh, that's kind of weird. I'm strong button again. Um, that's kind of weird. Oh, come on. Just get up there. Get up on... Get up there. That's your home. All right, and then we'll go back up top. Let's do it from here. And now let's add that, and then I'm going to remove this. Okay, it's considered part of it. So is this just the paint thing that's weird? Let's change this so I can tell what's happening. Okay, uh, let's do this then. Did not, it's attached. It's fully attached. Okay, so that's on there. Huh. Okay, then maybe I just did something weird with the paint. Okay, that's that's great. I'd rather have it be something weird than me doing with the paint than it, it screwed up, man. Uh, let's get rid of you, and then let's do this again. Okay. Okay. Earth is fine. I must have messed up. That's just how it goes. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'll take that. That's that's acceptable. So why are we doing these with the beams here? Uh, well, we're going to end up doing a, an outer wall around the elevator along with corner pieces to kind of keep the, the track in line and then go from there. That's kind of the, that's kind of the plan anyway. So um, let's go over here. And then I'm just going to go and paint them now. I think I have a little bit of paint left. 
outside of what I've got on me. Okay, so that's that might look a little bulky, but once we start filling it in, I think we'll be good. And this is an even width build. So we're going to do like a cross beam here. I guess I should have waited to paint, but hey, it is what it is. Cross beams on these sections here. So it has like a connected support. And then we're going to run our walls off of this. Now, again, from the top, it looks kind of thick, but I think from the side, it'll look all right. Let's see. Yeah. So, and then this is going to give it more of a feel of completeness. So what's going to happen is these corners here are going to be the grooves for the elevator to go up and down with, I believe, if it did this right. Or we're going to have a piece come off of it to make that happen. And then that way, the elevator, it kind of has a track for the amount of space that we're going to be covering. Because, yeah, we have uh, three spaces of six on the, the supports. Those gray parts, I'm calling them a space. There's three space spaces of six, plus each of these all have spacers, and there's another one in between each set of brackets. So there's a fair amount of piston technology that has to be used here, and I'm hungry. And I'm falling again. And I'm doing this again. And we're down here again. All right, well, let me go ahead and get some more stuff put together here, and we will return. Okay, welcome back. And I decided to change the metal with the I-beams. And that wasn't so bad because that's the metal, but I had to go get more paint uh, made. I mean, I grabbed the big old chunk of it, so that took some time too, but it is what it is. And then we've also, feel I feel lucky because we had pistons already made from the, um, the R&D thing for the rocks and stuff like that. Um, I did have, did do a, uh, well, I had, but I did do a component run earlier, um, with with and uh, now i've got all my components all i got left is 10 of them and uh, 15 of them and it takes eight to upgrade a piston yeah that that nerf is actually it's gonna create some more farming um <laughs> going on and that's how it goes that's how it goes so uh, uh yeah let's try this out let's see how we do the piston how does that look from here is that like halfway? Oh God, that's halfway. <laughs> oh, I just use our thrusters and thrust, shoot it up and have the thing come out and hold it. <laughs> wow. I can't put them on the bottom either because there's not enough room for this many pistons, even if I did a weird circular pattern. Yeah, there's no way. Wow. Uh, yeah, there's no way. I'm thinking here. I mean, we'll put it on the rest of the pistons. I know it'll be too low to like build our little uh elevator itself up with it but let's just see i still have pistons here no i have three left okay let's bring it back up let's get the wood back out let's go right here let's put this here let's put this here let's put this here let's put this here, yeah, can I put one on the edge there without having to worry about it? Yeah, almost. All right, cool. Now, let's throw these guys on here. And their max will do is seven. So, yeah, there's no way that's going to do anything for me. But we'll just see when we do this where we're at. All right, that's not bad. Yeah, I'll probably need two more and have them fully upgraded which i can't afford to do just yet we're, we're getting there but yeah we're not so pretty much right over twice that length and then maybe one more or two more will do it but still oh and i moved these uh beam sections closer to each other by the way that, that's what we've got going on too these are now closer uh i felt like it looked a little spaced not in a good way oh i 
I didn't do that one. I still have some beams upstairs, I think. But, uh, yeah, this is... That's got a ways to go, buddy. <laughs> All right, welcome back. And uh, we have been... We've went farming, then I streamed on Twitch, and then I came back to some more farming. And now we have 10 level 5 pistons, just so you guys know. Uh, to make a piston and upgrade to level 5 costs 9 components. So you're looking at 90 components worth of stuff right there, just in the top there, not including the controller we already had upgraded to max level 2. <sighs> and I did an offset circular pattern so it would compress all the way up in this thing, so I didn't build this up any higher. It already looks kind of wonky to me. Let's see how we do. I just, just first time here and just seeing what we got. Oh, it looks like it did it. Oh, it's good enough. Oh, we did it just enough. Okay, okay. So this looks like this could go up higher. Um, I'm going to say... Let's see if we could get this to... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Maybe 8-ish or so? Um, yeah, and this has been... Uh, just to get a simple elevator together... Like, if I were not to do all this... The, the, the aesthetics portions of it that I've been doing here... Um, still, like, the amount of time to get the mats for that, I feel like Endgame is just not balanced for a solo player whatsoever. Like, there's a lot of time just for something that might not actually work. <laughs> I, I, and this is a fact of the matter, um, how it is. So, you know, are you not compressing all the way? You look like you're hanging a little bit. Oh, God, don't, don't tell me that. It's level 5 pistons. You should be able to handle wood. It isn't. Are you serious? Are you serious? Is can it not handle the weight of wood? The wood is two, right? It's only two weight. Why? I could understand like the lower level ones, but the higher level ones, it's only holding weight. Like the weight over the wood. It should not be that in my opinion, that's not much wood at all in this whole contraption of things. That means it's active all the time, isn't it? Does it actually settle? Oh my god. Wow. That's that kind of sucks actually. I don't understand that. Why do why do we why it has to be so sloppy, you know? Like why can't we have I don't know. Man, okay. I'm I'm really trying to be Debbie Don Downer with things. I like to be positive, you know, if and, and, you know, have a good outlook on things if possible. And I just, I feel like I'm failing you guys with that. <laughs> All right. So anyway, um, actually, let's bring this down one uh, to here. And then we'll bring this out to maybe that point for right now. What we're going to do is use our areas for stuff. So this one here, I will bring out since I can reach it. And we're going to have it go inside these grooves. And it, oh my god, it is, uh, inside of these grooves to kind of keep it in line in the elevator. Let's go over here. Let's go, actually, I can just build it through here. Let's do that. That'd be a little bit safer-ish. All right, there's that. But yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. This just seems kind of, uh, I'm, I'm considering... Getting like a modded gathering rate, to be honest with you guys. I don't know. I, I'm, I like to be straight up with games and I like to be straight up with, with the, the viewers, you guys, um, with what I do. We've been straight up the whole time playing at vanilla. I've been putting the work in. It just feels like, I don't know, the end game feels should be more rewarding. Should feel more rewarding for what we're, we're, we've done so far. I mean, granted, we don't have the spud gun yet, but we've beat a warehouse. We've, and we've got a bunch of stuff settled in. So I really feel like, like, you know what I mean? I don't know. You guys tell me what you think in the comments below what you think. If you're, if you're still watching the video up to this point, I really appreciate that. And also, let me know what you think. So the, the, that, That's important to me. Let's put this here. Actually, no. I'm kind of worried. Um, let's change this last one to, like, seven or let's do six and just see what happens. And that's going down really fast. I hope it doesn't mess with the me in it, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, so it stayed in the grooves, and it's down here, and it's a little bit lower than that. I feel like it's going to come down like one more or two more once we figure out our base. The, 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 the floor of it. All right. Yeah, so let me know what you think about that. I mean, I, I'm not trying to be whatever, but like, again, these pistons cost 90 components to get a total. And then we had the controller that had to get all that was already upgraded all the way. So we're at over 100 components. And I don't mind doing the work, but we're talking like with the bridge, like we're talking about like days worth of hours, like to get the bridge even built. Uh, and uh, I, yeah, and I want to keep playing this game, but we're already really limited by FPS. And it looks like we're limited by the quality of the materials we have to build with, too. Because I really feel like I feel like these, these these pistons should be a little bit stronger. Honestly, I feel like the bearings. I don't know. That's just me, I guess. I'm, I'm a weirdo or something. Um, let's get this down here. There's that, and then we'll do this one next, and then the other one. Um, I'm not really sure where that point is going to be. Actually, it probably needs to be even with you. And so you are here, and that probably can come up one, two, come up two. Let's do you next. Um, I, I don't even know at this point. We'll just we'll just try it and see. Okay, there's that. And I'm just going to throw in a floor right quick. Yeah, I don't know about this, man. Okay, so I have a switch. We need to... I have a logic gate in the chest, I believe, over here. There it is right there. Okay. So we're going to do an XOR switch. That way, it, 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 both of them cannot be on. Um, for it to activate. Let's just throw it right here right now and then remove you and put you here Put this over here We'll add a switch just on the inside of this right now like right there bring you back over to there change you to that <sighs> Okay <laughs> What <laughs> Oh this game Okay, so we have one, two, three, maybe four more we could go down. How's the up going to be? Okay, that seems reasonable. So there's four. Uh, so let's put this down four more to ten. And try it now. Um, I don't feel safe with this if we're falling down like this. Yeah, so we're actually on the ceiling. <laughs> oh my god. I had to put a seat in it or something to make it so it's safe? That's the slowest thing, too. Uh, at least it looks a little bit high. So I mean, it needs to go down one more, maybe? Yeah, let's put this right here. Let's not have the gaps. Let's have this filled in. And that actually is probably going to be too much weight for it. And it's probably going to get... No, it, it can't get pulled down any lower. It's at full extension. I think. And again, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be Debbie down or anything like that. It's just you know, sometimes you have these expectations after so much work for things to happen. And that I feel like makes sense, but it doesn't apparently. Okay, so this is actually, I think, this is honestly, like, should be up one more block, I think. Yeah, it looks like it should be up one more block, so it's almost extended one whole block down with the weight we've got. FPS is kind of holding right now-ish. I normally run with about 210, 220. We're at 195, dipping down to 180. So there's a bit of a, a bit of a loss in this, but um, wow, I was planning on putting in chain link in the sides too, just to kind of give it some sort of like a elevator ish feel. I'm kind of worried about this because it's probably going to fall now. Now it's like level with the gap. It's even lower now and it just dropped my FPS even further. It hit 173. I saw that. Oh my God. Okay. And I feel like we kind of need these now with. 
with this happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Huh. Okay. I'm kind of worried. I was going to put it indoors and specifically on this elevator too. Yeah, it's actually below the line now. Oh my God. And there's nothing lighter to use. Um, how about parts wise? Let's look at the parts real quick. Is there any parts that look like it would work? Those are heavy. Oh, those are the same weight. I don't, there's really nothing. Those would take up the same amount too. It'd be cool to use them. I doubt it would fit. I'm kind of tempted to make one of each. Since it's the same way, it might add something to it. I don't know. I like the... Oh, we've already queued it up. Yeah, I don't... There, this is, It is what it is. I mean, everything else, there's nothing that's really going to work. Um, other than putting a chair in the middle of our elevator, which might end up being what we have to do so we don't hurt ourselves using our elevator. Um, and I don't like the fact that that is doing what it's doing either. Maybe we can work something in where... The sides pull in like a bearing or something and flip up or rotate over and lock it in or something. I would rather have it be out and then flip up underneath it to support it or something. I don't know. That's weird. I, I just, I feel like the, like all red, like I can understand maybe this elevator that we got right now pulling a little bit on the pistons, but these are tier five and with just the wood on it and it dropping down like that, that's weird. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and work some doors in and try and hide the controllers and stuff and just see if we can at least get something together to be able to use this in a fashion that we like to use. And I'll, I'll check and see if the windows look good or not. Anyway, we'll be right back. Um, so this thing was fully compressed and I moved the controllers up here. And then as soon as I started attaching the controller, these things started to expand. I wonder if I just put the range set like this and manually did this instead it would have tightened it up it does okay so do the pistons lose their strength when they're pulled together with a controller like look look at this okay so we're at like this right right you can see these are compressed now when I remove them they're still compressed. You see that? Now watch when I add a controller. That is weird, man. That is super, super weird. Okay, welcome back. I'm not necessarily happy with the aesthetics of this right now, but it's a working thing. Um, I ended up adding a couple interesting aspects to this. Uh, I'll get up top here. We have now where this spot is. This is a sensor looking straight. You can see the sensor right here, actually. There you go. There's a sensor looking down. And I'm using that with the pistons that uh, drive these doors. So there's pistons up here. And whenever that senses that, the doors open up. So it doesn't open the doors until it's safe to enter in it. Also, I've added a little support beam behind it on a bearing. You can see back here the bearing, and um, let me see if I can clear this out so you can at least see what we have here. We'll do it right here. It's not attached to that. Okay. Well, it just fell down. Let's just, oh, I need to clip, fill in the back here, too, make it a little more safe, too. Don't go too high. You can see it right there. Um, let me let me actually just flip the switch again without falling and dying here. Let's go here. Let's go up. Let's go over here. Let's press this. Let's go and put this here. Come back over here. And you can see up there. Once I get back up there. There is a beam here on top of this bearing. And I put one of those wedge blocks. The only wedges we have is like a two block size. That way it goes underneath the most bottom block of the elevator and kind of locks it in. When, and that's connected to the sensor too. So once it's fully in there, that thing swings around and it's connected to that controller and it swings around and holds it in place. It's just kind of like trying to get a safeguard together so it at least seems somewhat functional in the correct sort of manner. Um, so when it comes back up, 
You'll also see it jiggle a little bit when that, that wedge goes underneath it. There, see? And now it's it's as close to the flush as we can get it right now with that little support because there's one of the piston that was is not being supported, but that's still that's that's more than before. And then when we go down. And I pass out again. Oh, I didn't pass out that time. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to send you back up. Because now I want to make sure we have some sort of... Uh, I'm going to use scrap blocks right now. I used it for the top part. We're just going to put these underneath to give it a stopping point for that. So let's get back up this way. This way seems a lot more efficient to me. If I could just get this one a little bit closer, it actually would be better for me to use a chair system to get to the top of this than, than an elevator. But hey, it doesn't look as cool. There we go. It, cost wise, speed wise, everything. It's kind of bad. Um, so let's go down and see how we do again. I guess with that wedge on there, it's helping slow down the descent. Is that what it is? I'm kind of, oh, I'm in the air now. Oh, it worked out okay. And it hits the ground. Um, I think this needs to go, I don't know. I don't understand you. Maybe it needs to go down one more. Actually, we can probably... Oh, there we go. <laughs> don't do that in the middle of... Okay. All right. So we don't do that anymore. Uh, let me see if I can get up here. And then get over to this part here. And then reach you from here. Let's go down one more. There we go. That should be it. And it's flush. Okay. Uh, and I tried the windows and the windows just didn't work. And then the wedge got in and locked it in. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, I feel like we need to case this in real quick too. Like from right here maybe? Wrong block. And then right here. And then maybe do something like this. That looks like too much. Maybe leave a line across the top to give a little bit of depth. And then maybe a row here. And then we do the fencing again. That's not fencing again. There we go. And at least that's blocked in now. So it's kind of safe. The only thing is calling the elevator down below. I got to get the logic set up for that, but... And there we go in the air again. And it lands there. All right. Well, I got a little bit more work to do than this up, but that is the time we got for today. Hopefully you guys are liking what you see. If you like what you see, don't forget to slam the like button. And again, let me know what you think about Justin, the, the gathering rates or something like that. I don't want anything ridiculous, but at least something that will ease the pain for the bane. But as always, thank you so very much. And you all have a good night.